What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is David Cantero with InspiredDigital.com, where I drop daily videos on social media marketing, affiliate marketing, and making money online. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, make sure you smash the bell for notifications, and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from. Let me know what type of business you're building online, and let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on. All right, so um, I don't have my camera, so I'm going to be behind the scenes on this one, but this is going to be, uh, you know, straight to the point tutorial, detail by detail, how to run a Facebook ad to a landing page, okay? Mm -hmm. Bottom line, straight to one single page with one call to action, and that's to capture a lead. So for any, any of you, any of you out there, it doesn't matter what type of business you're building. If you're looking to capture leads or if you're looking to schedule appointments, this video is for you. Um, even if you're selling products, you're selling physical products, you're selling digital products, you got to get someone in the front door first. Okay. So you got to be giving out something for free up front in order to get that person's name and email. Then you can deliver value to them on the back end via email. Okay. Um, so this video really is, is, is mainly for, for, for those of you, man, for those of you that are looking to drive traffic and capture leads and close deals, this is how you want to do it. I got one single land, landing page right here. Okay. So the whole, whole objective is to get people to this ad right here. And if you, if you, you know, watched any of my previous videos, what I always encourage you to do is post it on the business page first. Okay, so post it there first, put the image, put the video, whatever you got. This one happens to be a 30 second video. Um, so whatever, whatever you got, I'm, I'm telling you go all in with video for sure. Go all in with video. In this particular case, this client just had images. So I ended up just doing like a still, like a, like a slideshow type of video. So it turned it in a 30 seconds, but whether I'm doing a video, whether I'm doing an image, same strategy applies. You post it on the page first, and then you come up here, click on create, and you're going to simply click on add right here. So right when you click on add, that will bring you back over here to the ads manager, and then you're going to click on the green one, okay? So this is actually probably where it'll take you. It'll probably take you directly to this page right here. So if it, if it doesn't, just click on that green one. And if you don't even see that green one, click on these three dots, click on ads manager, and then you'll be able to click on that green button. All right. So this is where the magic happens. This right here, man, will make or break any campaign. And that's what I don't, I don't, I don't hear this part talked about much at all. You know, I'm probably following the same guys you're following girls you're following. You know what I mean? I'm following most likely the same mentors and same people, the gurus that you're following as well, man. And I'm telling you, the majority of the stuff out there, 99% of it, don't even talk about this first step, like the objective, the campaign objective. You can have the best freaking post over here, the text, the emojis, um, the freaking slideshow, a good video of you doing a selfie style at the property, whatever, an image, whatever. You can have all that stuff on point. But if you start with the wrong objective, you're not going to accomplish your goal. So it all comes down to what is your goal? Is your goal just to get people to view the video? Is that your goal? You just, you're just paying to get thousands of people to view it? Okay, cool. Well, then that objective, make sure you go with video views, okay, if that's your objective. Um, on a video ad, I always encourage people to go with video views first. Um, it just depends on what you're trying to do ultimately up front. In this particular case with this real estate agent, we're looking to sell this property right away. So it's not the views that I'm willing to pay for. What I'm willing to pay for is the traffic. Because in this case, my objective is not to just get you to view the video, not even to get you to just engage in the post, meaning click like, click share, or comment below. That is very specific. That is as clear as it gets. It's engagement. You're paying to get people to engage in your post. And then you got conversions. Okay. Conversions is when you're really, really running your Facebook pixel and you have custom conversions set up, which I have a whole nother video for that. 
um, there's different components to running a successful ad. Having custom conversions set up is 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 really really crucial to the long term. But right now, just I want you to understand just the basics. I want to I want you to understand just the simplicity of setting up the ad, and then you can worry about everything else on the back end. You know, as you start to learn more. But conversions, you're only gonna once you once you it, once you place that Facebook pixel you know, on, on that, on your pages and on your web pages and on your thank you pages, that's going to happen by running a ton of traffic and letting Facebook pixel, pixel, letting the Facebook pixel really do its job, but it's going to come down to you initially starting with the traffic campaign, starting with a traffic objective to get a ton of people to your web page. So you can have an opportunity to even present an offer like we're sending people to this page right here um where people can simply inquire right and then we can offer them something else but right now it, it's it's a traffic after that facebook pixel and the, the facebook pixel hasn't even been installed i'm about to install that next on this page um because that's what we're driving the traffic to but as we run ads as we continue to drive traffic as that facebook pixel starts to really recognize what a conversion is after you run several conversions then th and that's by running a traffic ad after you get a ton of conversions then you can start running conversion type objective ads but you won't start right there you won't start right there and, and test it you want to test it. if you come if you're coming into a brand new ad right now brand new pixel brand new everything um Try running conversions right away, but from what I know, it's not it's not it's not the step. It's not step one. That's step two. Step one is running traffic and then letting that Facebook pixel and letting your custom conversions work for you, and then you leverage that out by by and 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 that all happens with traffic, you know. So that traffic is what's going to allow that Facebook pixel to do its job, and then Facebook's going to know what conversions what what a conversion even is for us. And then that's when we, when we can eventually start running conversion ads. But if you want to try to run that right away out the gate, try. But nine out of ten times, um, it's 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 the traffic. That's what you're optimizing for. That's what you're telling Facebook. Hey man, I'm willing to pay money to get traffic to this web page so I can get people to opt in. Okay, so that's what this is all about, man. It's knowing that 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 objective. What is your objective? Is your objective just brand awareness? Is your objective to try to reach as many people as possible? You know, show your ad to the maximum number of people. That's cool. But but ultimately, I want traffic. I need traffic. I need traffic. I need leads. I'm looking to, tra to, tra to capture leads. And that's from a traffic ad. Okay, so I'm going to go with this one. Traffic, landing page, traffic landing page, and I'm going to go with the address, 3827 Coastal. Cove. And that is the broker's name right there. So don't worry about campaign B O just yet. You'll learn you'll learn more about that in future videos. So just go with continue. And now we're running traffic. Our objective is to get people to a website. Okay. That's what we're optimizing for. So in this case, we don't need dynamic creative. I don't need offer. What I'm going to do is in the future, I'll be able to exclude. That's why the Facebook pixel is so important because you want to start building audiences. You want to start creating custom audiences and you want to start, you know, weeding out people that are hitting your thank you page. weeding out people or being able to, being able to, 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 to customize an audience for everyone who hits your landing page. You know what I mean? So custom audiences are a must. I don't have any for this just yet. This is a brand new, brand new, um, ad that we're rolling out. So people who live in this location is what we're going for. And then there's a couple ways that you can do this. Um, I can type in just the city. You can do it many ways, but, but I'm telling you my strategy. So one strategy, the property is in Jacksonville. Okay. The property is in Jacksonville, Florida. So I can go that and, and target 25 miles. In fact, I can go up to 50 miles around Jacksonville. Um, but, but 10, 15, 20, 25 miles, that's a lot of miles, man. Depend on your area, obviously, but still, I mean, shit, uh, it does, it, it kind of doesn't even matter. A mile is a mile. 
25 miles away is a long ways. Um, so I, I, I try to maybe just keep it at that if, if, if even that far. That's one way to do it. I put in the city or I can put in the actual address. So this property, it's right there in 3827 Coastal Cove. Jacksonville so I could I could go with the address and just target everyone around that address you know I can go I can go 20 miles around that address and get a good amount of people in that area and that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna I'm gonna change the age this is for for homeowners for first-time home buyers or for anyone looking to purchase a new home normally the, the sweet age there's tons of people below 30 that buy houses but again, we're trying to make our dollar go as far as possible, and we're trying to really narrow in that that demographics, man. You got to know that that's that's what separates a good advertiser from someone that really isn't is is really knowing the audience and knowing how to stretch that budget, and and really you know, and and you want to start broad too. You want to start broad. So to tell you the truth, I could go with the actual city and just put Jacksonville and go as broad as possible, and then and then continue to retarget people that are actually showing interest. I can do that too, um, but in this case, man, it's a property. It's in that area. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it right there. I'm gonna keep it right there. And you can go with different ad sets for this, or you can bunch every single word. You know, bunch a bunch a bunch a ton of words in here. What I normally do is I'll just simply, I'll just simply um, type in the power word homeowner interest right and then sometimes here's what you can do you could put one word and that's one ad set and then go create another ad set duplicate it go create another ad set with a different word that's that that's that's a real real hardcore strategy as well that's one strategy you'll just obviously be spending more money right you got five dollars a day on this one and then you set up another ad set that's a second ad then you got another five dollars a day on that one so depending on what products you're offering, man, there's strategy in this and you can, you could test both ways. You know, you could test always and that's what you have to do, man. You have to test always. In this case, I'll show you the example of being able to put one keyword and then leveraging Facebook and just letting, clicking on suggestions and letting Facebook bring you up all the power words already. That's why you can sit here and think about all these fancy words to try to target, but Facebook's already saying, dude, there's already 193,000 people that are house hunting. Shit. Okay. Damn. In that area, th that's exactly who, who I want to get in front of. People who are first time home buyers, you know, people who are interested in a, in a new house, people who have been searching on Zillow, you know, Facebook, the pixel, the algorithms, all this stuff, dude, Facebook is tracking and they're buying data from, from every top data source on the planet. So that's where a lot of this stuff comes from as well. Facebook's tracking everything from Facebook pixels alone. But, but again, um, they're buying data. They're, they're buying data. They're, how, how hard is that? That's easy. You know, you buy data, you know, and, and, and that's what a lot of this is, is coming from as well. So I can exclude people. I can exclude realtors if I wanted to, realtors, but I'm actually not. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to exclude people who actually like her page because here's the reality when it comes to your business page, man. If you want to look at it this way or not, it's it's reality. 99% of the people who like your business page um, live across the country. So when you look at your likes and you look at the people who are actually um, that actually like your page, chances are 99% of them live across the country. That's for sure on a real estate agent, but it doesn't matter what type of business you, you're running. If you got a Facebook business page, um, I don't know why it's not showing on the, on the right side over here. But if you have a business page, it don't matter your numbers, man. It don't matter if it's 200, 5,000, 10,000, or even, you know, or even 18,000 like I have on my page. It doesn't matter. 99% live across the country. So when it comes to the actual um, targeting, I don't want to target those people. Like I don't want to, I, I'm going to exclude people who like my page. I'm going to exclude them. And then I'm going to come down here to edit. And I'm going to edit the placements. I don't need it in the messenger. I don't need it on Instagram. This isn't going to be for an Instagram one. I don't need it on the audience network. I need it on Facebook. I need it in that news feed. I need it in the marketplace. It's a video. So I need it in the suggested videos. 
um, it could go in the stories and then it doesn't need to go in instant articles. Keep it going, keep it going. I'll go all mobile devices and then I'm going to optimize for link clicks. You can, you could test, you can go landing page views or you can go with link clicks. I'm going to optimize for link clicks and I'm going to go $5 a day. I'm going to just start it. Normally I'll, I'll set a start and an end date normally, but I'm testing. I'm in the first few days of testing. So I have a few ads here that I'm going to be managing and really looking at, looking at it over the next few days. Cause again, it just depends on your objective. What's your objective? It's, if it's to get video views, let that sucker run and, and go five, six, seven days and don't even look at it. Set a start date, set an end date, put a budget towards it and just get thousands of people to view it. You know, if that's your objective, in this case, it's a traffic, I'm running traffic and my objective is to capture leads, right? So if I'm not capturing leads in the next few days, I'm going to just turn it off anyways. So I'm not going to set a start or end date. I'm going to leave it at five bucks. So I'm going to keep it going, hit continue. And this is where we grab it from the business page, right? So again, we post it on the business page first. That is the ad, okay? The text, the images, all that stuff, that is the ad. And then all we're doing now is coming in through the back end and running the ad, okay? So that ad at all times or that post at all times will remain on the page. That's why I don't come in here and, and, and create ad. I, like now that I'm on the third step, I don't want to create ad because if I create ad, it's, 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 it's running on the, it's running behind the scenes and no one else can see it. Like it's not on my page. If I'm going to pay for this ad, I might as well have it stay on my page with the learn more button and the call to action button. You know what I mean? Like, so I want to, I want to post it here first and then um, I come over here and I use existing posts. Okay, so let me show you the one that we posted. It was the one that I showed you earlier, or if I even showed it to you. But yeah, let me go back to it real quick. Okay, so it should be this one right here. So this is the one right here, okay? So this is the one right here. We're gonna run this one right now. Um, this is 3827. Perfect. Okay. So there it is there. It's posted on the page. Then we're going to come over here, use existing post, make sure it's the correct business page, and then select post. And it's this one right here at the top. Bam. Click that, click continue. And now it's on our page. Okay. Here's what I do next. I get the link to the landing page. Okay. Don't send me to your home page. Don't send me to your fancy website. You better be sending me to a landing page and your Facebook pixel better be, better be embedded. Um, the Facebook pixel is not on this one just yet, but it's okay. I'm going to get it in process and then I'll, in, I'll add it. So I just simply paste the link there. There's the learn more button. I can always go with a different call to action, but it's the learn more, learn more that has been, that has been literally proved by Facebook statistically proven that that's the one that gets more engagement that gets the most clicks because it's less aggressive. It's, it's less, um, um, like aggressive. It's not saying, Hey man, you never seen me before. We're not even friends on Facebook. This is the first time you've seen my ad and automatically I want you to donate now. It's like, dude, who the hell are you? Like, why would I want to donate now to you? Or why would I get an offer? I don't even know. Okay. I see a picture, but what exactly am I getting a quote on? You know, so I'm not going to click, maybe get showtimes if I was AMC, but I'm not. Maybe listed now if I was freaking Drake and I was running an ad for that or something. But none of these other ones really make sense for you guys in most cases. In most cases, even if you have a download, like I have a book, I have a digital book. I wouldn't necessarily go with download now. Like I wouldn't download, like I really wouldn't go with download because it's just too aggressive. These people don't even know me yet. I'm marketing to a cold audience. Later on, and when we retarget, then I can go with something more, a little bit more um, um, pushy, right? But right now, it's learn more. Learn more. That's all I want you to do, man. Learn more. Click on that link. You know, click on the learn more link. Come over to my page, you know, and it's one page, man. It's one page. Enter your name and email. Show me more. That's the whole objective. And then on, on, the, on the next page, it's a thank you page of, um, of the client. In fact, let me just show you. 
it's this one right here. It's simply, this is what you want to do, man. That's why Kartra is so powerful. There's a link in the description, Profit with Kartra Online. This is, this, this, this one software runs my entire business. Like my, I run the Facebook ad and I take them to this one landing page. I created this inside of Kartra. Then after they click on the red button and they submit and they opt in, then we take them to this thank you page, right? We then take them to this thank you page. Thank you for inquiring. And this is a video of the broker saying thank you, introducing herself and telling them to schedule an appointment. Click here to schedule call or private showing. They click on that and it takes you straight to her calendar, okay? Takes you straight to her calendar where that person can simply book a call right away. Boom, book a call right away. And that's it, man. That entire step from the landing page to the thank you page to clicking the red button and coming over to the calendar. All that is literally automated, man. Once you start putting some real money behind these Facebook ads, behind these Instagram ads, it becomes a machine. Like it becomes a machine that runs on itself. And all you do is wake up to notifications, whether it was, a, whether it was an online sell from your digital product, which are my absolute favorite notifications, or whether it's a notification because someone just scheduled an appointment. Like what are we trying to do over here? We're trying to capture the lead and then we're trying to get them to schedule an appointment. You just inquired about a property, bro. Let's get you going. Like, get me, let, get me on the phone. Let's chat. Schedule that call right now. Boom. When do I call you? They click on here. They end up scheduling their appointment. Yasha gets a call or gets a notification right away saying, hey, a lead just scheduled. Or a lead just came in. Bam. And the, all, this, all this information is where their stuff would go. Bam, dude. First name, last name, email address, and phone number. So that's, that's the information we're collecting now. First, they already gave us their name and email. Then they came over here, and I had my girl right here just sell the hell out of them with that you know beautiful smile and that cheesy-ass smile, right? She did her thing, thanking them, now breaking the ice. Now it's a real person behind the page. It's not just some logo that you got from Fiverr for, for, for five bucks. You know what I mean? Like it's a real video of the real professional, you know, saying hello. And, and that right there breaks the ice, which, which hopefully gets people to click on that red button and schedule, schedule a call with us. Okay. With her, with Yasha. So all I do, you guys, is I, is, is I, is I wrote out that text, right? It came from the Facebook page. I wrote out that text. I used this page right here for the emojis. So I'll link this in the description, this, this link here. Um, I'll have that in the description. But I wrote, out, I wrote out the text. I put some emojis. I made a slideshow because it wasn't, I didn't have a video. 100% of the time, whatever the hell you're selling, you, that, that right there should be a selfie video. In this case, she's selling real estate. She's selling a property. 100% of the time, what I would want the client to do is get out to that property. So if it was my, if it was, if it was really the perfect timing, I would have had the client go out there and, and get a video, like do a selfie style video of you walking around the property or maybe you inside of the property, do a simple, keep it simple, two, three minute, have fun with it. Show your personality, you know, really roll your sleeves up and, and pull out your phone. You don't need no, no camera crew. You don't need no freaking green screen. You don't need anything professional. This is not Hollywood. This social media. So keep it authentic and keep it real. And that's how you find your audience, man. That's how you find your audience. So, but again, on this thank you page, showing that face and saying thank you, they just opted in. Thank you. Here's what you want to do next. Click the red button, schedule the appointment. Once you put some money into the post and you run that to the right people the right way, let me confirm this. And you, you want your Facebook pixel, but it's not going to be, my, this pixel is not going to be tracking this one. So I'll say that for another video. So we hit confirm and that's it. So in your case, you want to make sure your Facebook pixel is on. So that, that would that shade would have been blue and not gray, but, um, you definitely want your Facebook pixel um, tracking everything. You want custom conversions set up. You want custom audiences set up. 
um, and, and, and you want this Kartra page set up. Okay, this is a Kartra page. This is a Kartra page hosted. The video is hosted on Kartra. This is a Kartra calendar. Okay. Um, that right there is all you need, man. That's all you need is running a traffic campaign to a landing page to capture the lead. Once that lead is entered, then they're put on a very specific list. So Kartra is also used for my email list. So when anyone opts in, look, I think we just had a freaking 3827. Let's see this really quick. Okay, so this is this is a test. This is a test, but it's all good. But this number will start to increase as people start to opt in. So I set up, I'm running um, four different ads right now. So I'm running, let me take off. This one actually doesn't need to be here. 96073, take that one off. Um, okay, so one, two, three, four, 40, 41. Okay, so take this one off. So it's those list right there. Okay, so 4336, 16, 1942 and 3827. Perfect. So these four ads, you guys, I have running those four email lists, I have running right here. Bam, 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 bam. Four different traffic ads running to four different landing pages, getting ready to freaking sell these properties, man. All right. So whatever you're offering, you got to be doing it the right way, man. Have fun with it. Keep it simple. Continue to learn. And then setting up custom conversions, you can come in here and, and hit columns, come down here and customize. You can customize the columns and you'll start to just, just run the ad first, man. See if you can get anyone to opt in first and then start learning the back end. Start learning how to take it even deeper. You know, start learning how to freaking customize um, audiences and conversions and really leverage that pixel after you start seeing some activity, man. So keep it simple, have fun, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Over now.